Hi, my name is Joe and I'm a student here at San Joaquin Valley College and we are going to show you a short video tutorial on how to perform a pulse oximetry on a patient. So first what we're going to do is we're going to check the chart, uh, verify the patient's information and check the orders that the uh, doctor's given for the patient. Okay, everything's all in order. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go wash our hands. Sure, we wear our gloves. Now let's go check on the patient. Come in. Hi, my name is Joe. I'm from the RT department. This is Kathleen. Uh -huh. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm okay. Feeling a little up in there? Mm -hmm. Still? Okay. I can't breathe. Can't breathe. Mm -hmm. Well, first let me go ahead and check your wristband real quick. You always want to verify the patient that you have is the correct one. Can you get your birthday, please? 618-1939. Yep, everything seems to check out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this right here. Do you know what this is? No. no? This is called, <clears throat> excuse me, this is called a pulse oximeter. I know it sounds kind of futuristic and star trek -y. But what it is, is actually it's just a machine that's going to measure to see how much oxygen is in your blood. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on you so I can check to see <clears throat> how much you, uh, oxygen you have running through you. First thing you want to do is want to get your finger right here. Which finger? Get your middle finger right here, the biggest one. Um, are you trying to say my fingers are fat? No, I'm not trying to say that at all, actually. Just, uh, it's easier to get a reading on the longest finger you have. Uh, okay. Go ahead and put that on there for you. And what you want to do is you want to place it on the finger with the picture of the finger facing up. Go ahead and hit the on button right here. And what it'll do is it'll measure her pulse and it should give us an O2 reading on her stats. Go ahead. So it looks like it's reading at 65%. That is pretty low. Am I gonna die? Uh, no, you're not gonna die. We don't treat you right, actually. What we're gonna do though for you is we're gonna go ahead and give you some oxygen. Gonna bring that level back up for us, okay? okay. What I have here is an oxygen face mask. Now, if you could, I'm gonna have you sit up for a little bit here. Oh, honey, I know if I can do that. No, we got you. I we can't got breathe. You. We got you. I can't breathe. Go ahead and put this pillow right here behind you. What she does, I want you to hold on to that for me real quick. Can you hold that for me right there? This one behind your ear. This is from behind your other ear. What that's going to do is that's going to hold that mask there in place for you. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and breathe in that oxygen for me, okay? There we go. I'm going to go ahead and oxygen oxygenate the patient for... Uh, Five to ten minutes here. Okay, so how are you feeling now? Okay. Feel a little bit better? Mm-hmm. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check your uh, O2 level again. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and check the uh, patient's O2 stats again, see if that level's risen. Go ahead and give me that middle finger again. Which way? Like this? this way. <laughs> Just kidding, honey. Uh, Just kidding. Let's see if her uh, oxygen levels increased any. Huh? 
I don't think your machine's working. <laughs> now these little technology things we didn't have back okay. in my day. You have to be quiet now. I'm sorry. All right, let's see if we got a uh, O2 sitting at 97%. Wow. So, Pete, you're doing a lot better from 60. It's like an A, huh? That's like an A plus. Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm gonna chart that for you, and I'm going to make sure the doctor knows that your stats are doing a lot better for you. Okay. Okay, okay it's been good seeing you. I hope you, you take too. care. You too. Have the day. You too. So now what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to chart the time that you gave the uh, treatment, and you're also going to want to write down the new stat that you gave before and after a treatment.